Hello and welcome to the Rakyat Times TV News. I'm Mick Hu. Prime Minister Datuk Seri Najib Razak, who is under fire for the One Malaysia Development Brahad, One MDB debacle and several other issues, had said that he will not quit. Speaking in Sabah last night, Najib said that he had the support of the people and his party AMNO, and hence would stay on. But calls for Najib to step down have become more vocal after it was revealed that Pilgrim's Fund, Lembaga Tabung Haji, had confirmed buying land from One Malaysia Development Brahat, 1MDB. So far, 1MDB has chalked up 42 billion in debts that have got even former Prime Minister Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad calling for Najib's resignation. Meanwhile, the Police AMNO Liaison Committee has said that it wants drastic actions taken against leaders who failed to explain important issues. Its chairman, Dato Sri Shahidan Kasim, said that the 1MDB and the Goods and Services Tax GST, had not been properly explained, therefore causing people to question the credibility of the government. Shahidan, who is also minister in the Prime Minister's department, added that leaders must be well-versed in giving explanations, especially when questions are raised by the people. Another AMNO grassroots leader, Kulim Division Chief, Dato Abdul Aziz Shaikh Fazil, told the Malaysian Insider that it was time Najib asked himself whether or not he was a winnable candidate after the 1MDB controversy involving the Pilgrim's Fund, Lembaga Tabung Haji. He said that Najib's credibility had been questioned because of the 1MDB debacle, which the people considered to be a failure on the part of the President and Prime Minister. Moving on. Police have opened investigations into an allegation made by a Batal GST May Day protesters that a policeman had threatened her with rape for her refusing to cooperate. Maisara Amira, 21, alleged that a policeman had threatened to rape her during her detention at the Dang Wangi District Police Headquarters. She then lodged a re police report at the Petaling Jaya's District Police Headquarters last Friday over the incident. Dang Wangi Police Chief ACP Zaino Sama told the Malaysian Insider that, inquir that an inquiry paper was opened as soon as the report was made. However, Maisara has yet to appear at Dang Wangi to record a statement. And on to sports. Andy Murray claimed his first victory over Rafael Nadal on clay to win the Madrid Masters Tennis Open Championship on Sunday evening. The Briton had never beaten Nadal before in their six previous meetings on the surface but won 6-3, 6-2 this time around to stun the home crowd. Defending champion Nadal was aiming for a record fifth win in Madrid, but Mare outclassed his Spanish opponent to lift his first master title on clay. The 27-year-old, who won his first clay court title in Munich on Monday, has now secured two in under a week. And that was the Riot Times TV News. We'll be back on the same channel, same website.